<laughs> There's water on the floor. It's fucking disgusting. Because it's yellow? Talk to me nice. Or don't talk at all. Wow. Hmm? I'm Alicia the Monster Within. It is. But I don't know. This one kind of like... I kind of take it as it's not because it says it has zero sugars. Probably not. But <laughs> what we've learned in this world is everything is not healthy. Like You could drink a bottle of water and in three days TikTok will be telling you don't drink this water. Hey, it's good to me. I've been playing well, so <laughs> rock out with my pink monster. Well, he has a name. Yeah. yeah. The finger. Yeah. Uh, no, the finger's cool, bro. Um, uh, it's a non-factor. Like at this point, it's just like my finger is getting attention. You know, my finger loves it. But football is football, bro. Like I was like, like but like talking to uh, who's I talk and talking to today, Vandy. And he was like, bro, does that like freak you out? Like. Like, you look down, and it was, like, just gushing blood, and it was almost going to come off. I was like, bro, not really, because, like, we get, like, what we sign up for, right? Like, this this is a tough league from the worst of the worst to the to the bottom, right? Like, like, like it's a tough league. So, hey, stuff happens. I, I really don't know what happened, but my finger is still here. I can still wave at you, <laughs> and I'm good. So, thug it out. Yeah, what are the... What's the dynamic of facing a team? Obviously, you face division opponents multiple times a year. Kansas City, you've almost faced them as much as a divisional <coughs> opponent. How does that affect game plan, understanding you're so familiar with them, they're so familiar with you? Yeah, it's a uh, – right, like we see them often. We see them often, and we know what to expect when Pat Mahomes and Reed come into town or when we go into their place which we seems like we've only been to their place but uh we understand that every time that we play them it's it's a it's an all or nothing game and it's going to come down to us at some point during the the football season but we're very familiar in certain ways with them as they are and with us but they have a great coach their coach dices up different things different fronts different pressures so it could be different. It's usually different, but ball is ball. Like, we don't want to make it rocket science and ex expect, like, a giant spaceship to come down. Like, no. Like, we understand that those players are championship players. They are breaded by a championship foundation, and they've been winning, and they've showed it. So we understand that they play with just a different type of swagger. And uh, it's cool because we do too. And uh, we understand that um, – it's two great teams playing, and uh, this is why I chose to play fo football, was to play against the best. And they have shown in many ways that they are great, just as what, just as like well as us. So, you know, just be ready for a, a gritty, gritty football game, you know? Really, really gritty, gritty. Go ahead. You just mentioned that you know, it always felt like you were going to KC, mm -hmm. and now you get to hear how important it is to be to have you know, the fan support and to be able to play yeah, uh, you know, and they call me Snow, right? Snowman. They yeah. So the last week with the snow effect that was in the game, it's iconic. It is iconic. I forgot about it that they even did that. And last week when they were throwing the snow up in the air and doing all that crazy stuff, it brings a different juice to us. So for them to step into our home, uh, it's gonna be drastically different. You know, because we go to Arrowhead, and the number one thing that that you guys are asking us all week is, how are you go like like gonna handle the the crowd noise? How are you gonna? We haven't had that question one in one time. Like what I figured that somebody would ask is, how do you think they're gonna finally handle the crowd noise? And I don't know, because they've been in a situation where they never really had to. Uh, but I'm very confident in the mafia. You know, I feel like. The Mafia is in great relation with myself, which is also like to the team. So I know that they're going to bring it. And 
I'm hoping that they bring it to the highest that they've ever brought it because I'm excited to see them, you know. Driving into to the game is when I can always tell how they're going to, to be if they're like already drunk, then <laughs> it's going to be one, one of those games. So I'm hoping around 4 o'clock everybody is just about at their teeter when I'm driving in or 3.35 and they're at their teeter. So I'm hoping the Mafia brings all of everything like it's all or nothing because I'm expecting it to be the loudest that I've ever heard and the swaggiest that I've ever seen and the snowiest that I've ever seen. So, see you guys soon. Adrian, it's uh, been five straight. KC, what do you remember the last time they were here? I don't remember. COVID? COVID, right? COVID. Quiet. Super quiet. So they, so, no disrespect. What year is this for Pat? Seven or eight? Seven? Seven, right? He's only been here once? So he's never been here. Sim simple as that. Pat has never been to the Bills Stadium in full effect. He has no idea what even like our fans like look like in person. So, well, that's like that's not true. In the home stadium in person. So, the people who don't always travel. Uh, that's really all that I know is that it was COVID. But hey. I'm excited because it'll be the environment will be different and not to say it's in our favor, but stadium is our favor. You know, stadium is us. That helps us. I don't care what nobody says. This is the most dopest feeling I've ever had. Like we've like we're having two back to back playoff games home. Like, come on now. Like we get to leave and go eat wings. Like, like it's it's cool. So you, good luck. You'll take any opponent postseason. They're all the same. But is this what you wanted? Here. Kansas City coming here. We want every game here. Who wants t to leave home? Like, I want it all here. If we can have the Super Bowl here, let's let's play here. Freezing cold. Like, like let's play here, man. Like, there's nothing like playing here. It just keeps us all in a mentally stable place. Like, we don't got to get on a plane. We don't have to order food. We don't have to pack our bags. We don't have to, oh, I forgot my charger. Like, none of that. We're cool. Calm, cool, collect. We're in our own hot tub. We're in our own cold tub. We're in our own saunas. We're just in our own routines. You know, like when you get to this part of the of the NFL season, um, what separates people is mastering their routine and being able to be in their routine for the longest. You know, everybody has their own routine and process. Like if it's me, if I eat McDonald's and then have a bowl of cereal and then get in a sauna. That's my process, right? For Now, that's just an example, but, like, everybody's process, home is their home, core, ground-based process. And I want my guys to be in their best form of their self, whether it's going to Paula's Donuts, whether it's going to Ilios, Mulberry's, Chop House, wherever that might be, we're in our own niche, right? Everything is home-based. I'm cool. And, uh, yes, this is exactly how... I want it, and I'm pretty sure I, I, I can talk for that whole locker room. Yes, this is how we want it. Come to us. Be cold with us, you know, and feel it because this is the real deal. The Mafia is going to show, and, you know, it's the snow. To ask John's question yeah. a different way, you know, the Chiefs have eliminated you guys twice in the past three or four years. They've been atop the AFC. Uh, they've gone to three Super Bowls recently. <laughs> To get to where you guys want to go, you guys have to get through Kansas City. Is it almost fitting that this is the opportunity that's in front of you guys? I hate to dumb down that question, but you should know me too well. Uh, they're just the next opponent for us. Whether they won a million championships or they had zero wins in this season, they're next on our schedule. So uh, we don't look at it as nothing more or nothing less. This is a great team coming in here, and we have to win. That it's, it's a different uniform with special players, just like every team has, you know, and not to dumb them down because they're, they're, like, they're great. But we don't look at it more than what it is, and we try not to make it bigger than what it is. We could just stay at a nice, I guess the word is plateau or, or nice float, idle, like we're just here. Like we're just here, you know. So we don't make it bigger than what it is, and, yeah, They've been tough every year. They're the Kansas City Chiefs. Like, but like we get it. They've won 
multiple Super Bowls. So it is and what it is, man. Sorry, say it just one more time. The reward for doing is the opportunity to do more. So he said that's one of the messages that Joe has been saying yeah. to some of the guys in the office. When you hear that, what does that mean to you? Mm, it means... It means... The better off you are at the end of the season, you have the opportunity to show yourself and to show why you're the best week in and, and, and week out. Um, there's guys that are, are home. There's guys that are on vacation. There's guys that are planning their trip. There's guys that are flying out tomorrow. There's guys that packing their house up and packing their cars out and shipping it to where uh, and they live. So in this week, in this league, it is a week to week league. And when you get to the postseason, it's literally a day to day league. You know, we could be here today, gone tomorrow. So uh, the award in itself is advancing to that next day. And when you say that of what Joe says, that's kind of how that hits my brain. We have another week to, to, to be present. We have another week to be together. So um, I'm thankful that we do, you know. I say it every day, like, It'll be different before you know it. So enjoy it while we have it. So uh, the award is being awarded to advance to that next day, to wake up and not plan on, you know, hitting that eject button. Yeah, I know you're saying snow comes from shoveling driveways when you were a yeah. kid. Do you want to go help shovel out the stadium with those mafia? You know, I drove past the stadium. <laughs> yeah, I, I drove past. Uh, in my mind, I was like, I could go in there and just shovel just one time and leave, but I was like, that's too much. Um, but no, that's too much snow. You know, uh, my driveway is enough <laughs> in itself, but it would be cool if I could just to like, oh, this is where my fa but like family sits. Let me just shovel this out just so I could say I helped. But uh, no, I I'm thankful for the people that went into the stadium and shoveled because I can only imagine. And when I used to shovel, I had space, right? I could walk over here and throw it here. They're in like these little aisles ch 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 shoveling. Can't even imagine. So I tip my hat to those people because they are the true winners because without them, it'll be like COVID where there'll be nobody in their seats. So. Uh, I appreciate them. I appreciate the mafia, and I appreciate the people that even want to help. Like they don't like have to. Like people like do that out of the kindness of their heart, and of course they're getting paid. But still, it means like something to them that they can say, "We we got that win, and we got the people to be able to sit there and comfortably uh, or comfortable." So uh, I tip my hat to them. But yeah, but no, I did not want to go and shovel out that giant stadium of snow. No, that would have killed me. If you look at this offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like yeah. When you see him going like he was on Sunday, you don't look well on anybody in that room. Is there something different about that mm -hmm. version of Josh on that day? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Josh is, uh, how do I say this correct? Josh is, he's different here, man. Mentally, he's he's there. Um, whatever it is off the field, I think it is helping him tremendously. Whatever that energy source is that he has off the football field now, uh, it has his best foot forward. You know, Josh comes in the building every day just with a different energy about himself. And I don't know if he's getting a, anything. Whatever it might be, Josh is in a better step when he leaves his house or whether it's talking to his parents or talking to his girl whatever that might be it's it's putting him in a better spirit and i and i love it but it's flowing over to game days you know like in in that locker room where where we sit at and where josh sits it's it's like a l 
right? Like we sit down and I see Josh. Like I do the same process every every time I come in, take my stuff off. I sit there, I look around the locker room to see who's here, kind of people's outfits. And then I go about and my thing. And if I'm looking at Josh and if Josh is sitting there, which he like he usually is, he's usually, you know, on his phone or he's sitting there just breathing. And I can see like, oh, something crazy is, is gonna happen or uh, he's a little off, but I haven't seen that he's a little off, not once this year. So uh, Josh is in a good spirit when he leaves whatever he's leaving. So whatever God is sitting on his shoulder or whatever beautiful energy is sitting and with him, it's working. Yeah, and this is obviously a stage you guys aren't familiar with, but what about this side of the locker room feels different this time around as you get into this divisional round of the playoffs? One more time. What feels just different about this locker room heading into divisional round compared to you know the last couple of seasons where you guys have come up short? Have you just noticed the mentality, the way the guys are just approaching this game? Is there anything that's kind of stood, stood out to you? The, let me so what's different right yeah, so so like what's different about the guys right is what you're like basically like asking yeah, way they're approaching this game yeah game. um not like but like nothing is really different bro like we're we're sticking to what we do well and uh we're sticking to what we do like we're not trying to grab a bunch of different entities to make it into something different cuz not to say that we've been doing it but bro we've been in this situation for it seems like six to seven weeks bro like since that Eagles game we've been in this situation like every game has been that playoff win it all go home do or die like but like type of game so but the difference that the world is seeing is guys are genuinely for each other you know guys aren't for their self and right now guys are for each other guys are hanging out Guys are like, like you guys go in the locker room, like guys are really playing ping pong. Guys are really sitting there playing Uno. Like guys are really playing cornhole. Like guys are really being guys. Like, and they take that outside of the building and it's not for fake. It's not forced. It's not, all right guys, uh, we have dinner tomorrow. It's just like, bro, uh, are we, like people are really trying to bond and grow so they can play for one each other, like one another off and on of the field. And uh, it's, it's showing, like it's really showing. And uh, just take a quick note if you're watching film, look how many people are around the guys when they hit the ground. Guys are running over there to, to pick them up. Guys are getting pe people away. Guys are being guys. So uh, that's the little gems that if you look deeper into what is going on, guys, guys care. And that's simply what it is. Guys are really being guys that care. And uh, that's what's going to make us a championship Buffalo Bills team. Guys cool? Yep. You, you, thank you. Thank you.